So you come to this place. This is our opportunity now to recognize it. This is very, very important. This is a generational or a millennium opportunity. This is an opportunity that comes maybe once every thousand years or 5,000 years or 100,000 years. This is, this is a golden opportunity. It's not a joke. It's not about the pandemic and a virus. This is about a moment of the collective consciousness of awakening hundreds of thousands of people. An opportunity that's never been here before. At least I'm not aware of it. And now that opportunity is happening. It's a really huge movement. I hope you realize that. How huge this is. And again, it's a perspective. You can look at it as a total disaster because your mind is so attached to the old model of what it used to be or shifting into the truth of who you are, that you have this opportunity right now that you may pop into recognizing, you may be able to separate yourself through the pressure which is there. You may be able to pull yourself away from your mental activities, your emotions and your body and be able to separate yourself. And all of a sudden in that separation comes the recognition of that you're, you are expansion, that there's really not a you there. The you is only a thought, it's an I thought, that is only that which is here. This is worth dying for. This is worth giving up the life we were very much attached to. Because this one thing by itself can free you from the cycle of the karmic cycle, from the life and death of coming and going into this dream in a way of saying. And a lot of you have played your allegiance, you know, inside yourself. You've said that. I know you've said it. That I'm willing to give up everything. I'm willing to do anything to become one with God. And that's your desire of becoming one with God. Becoming one with that. The final realization. So here's your opportunity. Just like that. And you're not alone. Don't fall into this illusion. And this trap that you're alone, you're lonely, you have no support. Why me? Why life is doing this to me? You're not alone. We're all in it together. We're all here. So if anything bad is supposed to happen, it happens to all of us. So what? But I assure you nothing bad in that way that you think is going to happen. Whatever happens, it's going to be for your spiritual gro growth. 
It's coming out of love because you have God in you. That's your true nature. And when you have God in you, you nothing can touch you. You recognize that. And when you recognize that you have God in you, then you recognize that God is in everything else. Then there is no boogeyman anymore. Anybody has any questions for me? You want to? Yeah, sure. Uh, Susanna, if you. Yeah. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Um, I uh, thank you for for this talk. It's nice, but man, Buddhist, it takes lifetime to silence the mind and get awakened, how, I don't actually have very much question, I, I just have this comment, you know, how can I be certain that this will happen to me, how do I recognize that I am awakened, do you have any comments or thoughts on this, because okay. the Buddhist monks, you know, they meditate 24-7 almost, and they are maybe lucky and they get awakened or how do I even know that I am awake or awakened, you know? Well the ego just don't let okay. you go. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you do you think you're asleep? No. Okay. I don't. Okay. So you you know you're not asleep. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, and you know, you're working on yourself. Yes. Right. Ever since I've met you, you've been on this spiritual journey of working on yourself. So if you're working on yourself, how can you be asleep? Okay. Is it it? Yes. It's very simple. Now, maybe you have this idea of awakening or enlightenment of a big bang. And no, then... I actually don't. That's the thing. That's why I'm very, you know, uncertain where I am now. What is it like what I'm doing? I'm like, okay. meditations are very strong lately and I feel very, very calm. And I was very blessed actually this year. But still, everything changing so much that, you know, the ego gets confused. So it's still right. there. Right. So, okay. First of all, you said in the beginning something about thinking and emptying the thoughts or freeing yourself from thinking. You remember when you first started talking? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do this. It's very, very simple. Okay, let's not make it complicated. Everyone can do it. Just look in here. Take a look inside. I'm just pointing out like this. Just look inside your mind. Do you see any thoughts? Do you hear any thoughts? No. And everybody else? Just simply look inside. Is it quiet or if it's busy? Be honest with me, just just let me know. You know, I, I don't have any judgments over it, so you don't have to act cool. I, I want to help you, but if any of you, when you're present and you look inside, 
Is there thoughts or it's quiet? Or maybe something's in the background happening, but it's not grabbing you. <laughs> 